Kami Linians, this is Teacher Hazel, and today we are going to discuss the topic Rational Algebraic Expressions. This video tutorial is based from your learning activity sheets in Mathematics 8, Quarter 1, Week 3. So bring out your learning activity sheets as well as your learner's module and turn it into pages 67 to 79. Our learning targets for this session are illustrates rational algebraic expressions, and simplifies rational algebraic expressions. Before the lesson, let's have some warm-up questions. I have heard two questions for you to answer. The first question is, how do we write 15c squared d cubed w as a prime factors? Timer starts now. What do you think is the answer? Very good! The correct answer is 3 times 5 times C times C times D times D times D times W. The next question is, what are the factors of the polynomial x squared plus 3x plus 2? Timer starts now. What do you think is the answer? Good job! The correct answer is x plus 1 times x plus 2. Let's talk about rational algebraic expressions. A rational algebraic expression is a ratio of two polynomials provided that the denominator is not equal to 0. In symbols, p over q where p and q are polynomials and q is not equal to 0. Again, take note the denominator should not be equal to 0 because any algebraic expression divided by 0 is undefined. For example, 3b over a plus c. Be sure that when you add the values of a and c in the denominator, its value is not equal to 0. How about this example? 3ax raised to negative 3. Can we say that this is a rational algebraic expression? By mere looking at it, we might say that this is not a rational algebraic expression because it is not written as a ratio or a fraction. But remember, we have discussed that expressions with negative exponents can be written into positive exponents by applying one of the laws of exponents x raised to negative m is equal to 1 over x raised to m. Therefore, 3ax raised to negative 3 can be written as 3a over x raised to 3. And now we can clearly see that it is a rational algebraic expression. Another example, we have 3x plus 1. Do you think it is a rational algebraic expression? Well, you must realize that the regular algebraic expression is always a rational algebraic expression. Why? Because we can rewrite it as a fraction with a denominator of 1. Therefore, 3x plus 1 is equal to 3x plus 1 all over 1. Thus, it is a rational algebraic expression. Now, let us proceed to simplifying rational algebraic expressions. In simplifying rational algebraic expressions, you have to eliminate all the factors that are common in both the numerator and the denominator. To accomplish this, we may use the different methods in factoring. For example, let us simplify 36x to the 5th power, y to the 3rd power, over 60x to the 3rd power, y to the 4th power. To simplify the given expression, first, factor both the numerator and the denominator. In simplifying rational algebraic expression, we should always consider both the numerator and the denominator. Let's take into consideration the numerical coefficients. Since 36 and 60 are both divisible by 12, we can just write 36 as 3 times 12. Instead of its prime factor, 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. 
and 60 as 5 times 12 instead of 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. And the same goes to the literal coefficients. The common factor of x to the fifth power and x to the third power is x to the third power. So we can write x to the fifth power as x to the third power times x to the second power and x to the third power as x to the third power. The common factor of y to the third power and y to the fourth power is y to the third power. So we can write y to the third power as y to the third power and y to the fourth power as y to the third power times y. The second step, cancel out the expression that are the same in the both numerator and denominator. Because if the numerator and the denominator of a fraction are the same, it is equal to 1. Example, 12 divided by 12 is 1 x to the third power divided by x to the third power is 1 and y to the third power divided by y to the third power is also equal to 1. Step 3. Rewrite any remaining expressions in the numerator and denominator. So the remaining expressions in the numerator are 3 and x squared and the remaining expressions in the denominator are 5 and y. So, the simplest form of 36x to the 5th power y to the 3rd power over 60x to the 3rd power y to the 4th power is 3x squared over 5y. For example number 2, let us simplify 4a plus 8b all over 12. The first step is to factor both the numerator and the denominator. Remember the factoring by GCF. In the numerator, determine the greatest common factor of the given terms. The greatest common factor of 4a plus 8b is 4. Then factor out or divide out the greatest common factor for each term. 4a divided by 4 is equal to a plus 8b divided by 4 is equal to 2b. Next is to factor the denominator. The factor of 12 is 4 times 3 instead of its prime factor 2 times 2 times 3. Now the factors of 4a plus 8b is 4 times a plus 2b and the factors of 12 is 4 times 3. Step 2. Cancel out the expression that are the same in both the numerator and denominator. Because if the numerator and denominator of a fraction are the same, it is equal to 1. Therefore, 4 divided by 4 is equal to 1. The last step is to rewrite any remaining expressions in the numerator and denominator. The remaining expressions in the numerator are a plus 2b and the remaining expression in the denominator is 3. So, the simplest form of 4a plus 8b all over 12 is a plus 2b all over 3. For example number 3, let us simplify x squared plus 3x plus 2 over x squared minus 1. To simplify the given expression, factor both the numerator and denominator of the fraction. Remember to write the expressions in descending order of exponent. To factor x squared plus 3x plus 2 in the numerator, we have to remember the factoring of trinomials. We will split the expression into two binomials. So x squared plus 3x plus 2 is x plus 1 times x plus 2. In the denominator, we will use the factoring by difference of two squares. The factors of x squared minus 1 is equal to x plus 1 times x minus 1. The next step is to cancel out x plus 1 in both the numerator and denominator. The last step is to rewrite the remaining expressions in the numerator and in the denominator. 
the remaining expression in the numerator is x plus 2 and x minus 1 in the denominator. Therefore, the simplest form of x squared plus 3x plus 2 over x squared minus 1 is x plus 2 over x minus 1. Now, let us have some recap. What is a rational algebraic expression? A rational algebraic expression is a ratio of two polynomials provided that the denominator is not equal to zero. In symbol, P over Q, where P and Q are polynomials and Q is not equal to zero. How to simplify rational algebraic expression? First, factor both the numerator and denominator of the fraction. Remember to write the expression in descending order of exponent. To factor out a negative number if the leading coefficient is a negative number, and use various factor techniques to factor each expression. Second, reduce the fraction. To reduce the fraction, cancel out the expression in the numerator and denominator that are the same. And third, rewrite any remaining expression in the numerator and denominator. At this point, you may turn your activity sheet to enrichment part. Reminder, do not write anything on this activity sheet. Write your answer on a separate long band paper. For enrichment activity 1, you are going to classify the different expression into rational algebraic expression or not algebraic expression. Copy the given table, then write the expression into the appropriate column in your answer sheet. For enrichment activity 2, you need to identify which of the given algebraic expressions are rational or not. In your answer sheet, write RAE if it is a rational algebraic expression and write NT if not. For enrichment activity 3, simplify the given rational algebraic expressions. Show your complete solution and encircle your final answer in each number. For enrichment activity 4, match the rational algebraic expression to its equivalent simplified expression from the top. Write it in the appropriate column on a separate long band paper. If the equivalent is not among the choices, write it in column F. And for your wrap-up activity, draw arrows similar to the figure below. Afterwards, write the step in simplifying rational algebraic expression in each arrow. You can add or delete arrows if necessary. I hope you learned something today. If you have questions or clarifications regarding the topic we discussed, feel free to contact your subject teacher through text or call, or you may also post your questions in your official Facebook group or page. Thank you for watching! Don't forget to like and subscribe!